Bonjour à tous. This is a remote learning initiative by Shet Vidya Mandir High School, Vasai. Myself, Shikta Pete, French teacher. This video is for class seventh. Lesson set, Shet Clara. Video part two. So let's begin. In continuation with the chapter number seven, that is lesson set, Shet Clara. Uh, today we'll be uh, as we have learnt the prepositions in the last video. Today we'll be doing the verbs uh, that are the verb on R E. Okay. Now before that, uh, okay. First we'll be doing the verbs, then we'll be moving on to the uh, the para over here. The verb on R E. Now you all have learned the verbs uh, in uh, E R verb. Okay, as well as I R. So we'll be doing the R E verb. Of the three groups of the verb, we have already learned the first and the second groups. That is the er and the ir. We will now study the third group of verbs. Uh, verbs that is the verbs ending in re and the other uh, irregular verbs. Now, as I told you, the regular and the irregular. What is the difference in regular and irregular? Regular we have a pattern. Like you have to drop out the in uh, the last two letters that is re for uh, sorry er for er verbs, ir for ir verbs, and then you all have to take the radical and then add the endings for er as e e e uh, sorry e e s e e o n s e z e n t e n t for ir you have to drop out the ir, take the radical, and put the Endings as I S I S I T I T I double S O N S I double S E Z I double S E N T I double S E N T. But for the irregular verbs, we do not form a follow a pattern. Okay. Mm, now, for example, for E R irregular verbs, if we have come across the aler, we don't take out the E R and then we put the radical and then the endings are not done because aler is a irregular verb. So here to conjugate a third group of verbs in the present tense, we follow the following steps. Now first step is remove re from the end of the verb to form the radical, which in case of the on on tondra is on ton. Now on tondra means to hear. Okay. Now uh, step two is we add the following verb endings to the radical according to the subject. That is s s o n s e z e n t e n t. This is the formation for re verb. What is the formation? Re you have to take out radical. What is remaining? For example, here they have given on thunder. So the re will be taken out. The radical will be your e n t e n d, and then you have to take this as a uh, what we say uh, the um, radical, and then you have to add the endings as s s nothing nothing o n s e z e n t e n t. Okay. Now we have conjugated the verbs as follow: on tondra to hear, that is on ton tiu on ton il on ton, nous on ton da vous on ton de ils on ton elles on ton. What it? So as I told you, re has to be taken out the radical and the endings added is s s nothing nothing. The on ton for nothing nothing is for il and l form because you are not going to add the uh, any of the letter to it. It will remain the same. The radical will be the same. Uh, then o n s e z E N T E N T. Okay. Now the verbs conjugated as on tondra are. The next will be at tondra to wait for. Re pondra is to answer. Des tondra to get down and rondra is to give back. There are various meanings of rondra. To give back, to return. Okay. Uh, to give a visit. So the same. This R E verbs will be conjugated in the same form as uh, we have conjugated for on tondra. What is now some of the irregular verbs and their conjugations? Now, why irregular? As I told you, that they are not following the pattern. Like we are not going to take out the re and taking the uh, what we say the uh, radical over here. Instead, we are directly going to conjugate it. So it is like jelly, tuli, illi, elli, nuli, so wuli, se illis, ellis. Next, dir, jadi, tudi, ildi, eldi, nudi, so wudit. Il this, el this. Now don't get confused when it is li zo. So here also you have to uh, for uh, li it is wu li ze. So don't put for di it wu di ze. Got it? So you all have to be very much careful about this. Metra to put jamet tu met il el met nu mata wu mete il met el met. For decree to describe that is ya decree tu decree il decree el decree. Nu decrivo, vu decrive, il decrive, el decrive. 
few verbs conjugated like decreed and ecreed has to be written in the same form like recreed to write rec recreed to rewrite prescreed to prescribe okay so it is same you just have to put the uh, use the same con conjugation you have used for decreed and for metra permetra is to permit and batra to beat so it is permetra uh what the same thing like metra jamet so you just have to put the per in front of met and the same conjugation will be the same for batra as well okay uh, i think the vocabulary we have done now moving on to the sel dimanche mata it's the sunday morning me paros a la mezo my parents are in the house mo per li le journal okay my father reads the <coughs> excuse me journal journal is not a journal here it means a newspaper e ma mer med la kuver pur la pati dejane now as we have come across we have done the vocabulary you just have to check out the vocabulary part now these are all verbs that we have done right now li is like li to read then uh, met is metra so these all verbs have been taken into this comprehension or a, a small pati paragraph then um, me la kuver is to she is making the red table ready for the pati dejener is the breakfast je crée une lettre à mon ami onan i write a letter to my friend who is in india dans la lettre uh, je crée le style de vie the moper means in this letter i have described the style of my living of my country clear la france j'attends sa réponse now i am waiting attendre is not to attend okay it's to wait so i am waiting for your response i am waiting for her response you can say instead because she is writing a letter to her friend so she has written about the lifestyle of people living in uh, france now she is waiting for the response of her friend got it so i think the verbs are been clear over here the next will be doing the exercise in the next video till then a bientôt